Slipstream by Simon Bovey. Part 5. Fight for the future. Uh, the only way I can fix the slipstream is if I get a similar solenoid from one of the aircraft at Brandon's. That's not a plan, Miss Ritchie. That's a suicide pact. You hear that gunfire, you'll have to walk through it to get there. Well, maybe I could find something from a V2 engine, but I have no idea what the tolerance level is. Just of... do it. You wanted me, sir. I need you to find Shank. He's run off with that bally solenoid. Take Raoul. He'll be useful as bait, but don't get him shot. I haven't finished with him. We've just engaged with the Americans. My place is with my men, sir. Your place is where I tell you to go, Lieutenant. Look, if we don't get this thing out of here in the next hour, then all of this was for nothing. Yes, sir. Shall I still try and jury rig something? Yes, yes. Belt and braces. The slipstream's disabled. Uh, ah, Ra, there you are. Yes, Shank took the solenoid. She told me. Shank? When? No, no, the slipstream told me. She also claims there's someone coming. Someone come? What, what the hell does that... No! Help! Gee, artillery! Blimey, me, that's all we need! Kate? Kate! Kate! Where the hell did that come from? God, my ears are ringing. Lieutenant! What is it, Cop? Russians. T-34 tanks, mandatory support. Blimey, it never rains, does it? I ain't got anything to throw at that lot. Corporal, get back to the lines. I'll be with you shortly. And Bennett, the T-34 has lousy vision. Use the terrain and stay mobile. Sir! Ralph, go with Dundas and for God's sake, find that ruddy solenoid. Go, go! I'll find it. You all right to work, Miss Ritchie? Uh, yes. Yes, I'll think of something. I have to check our defences. And keep your pistol handy. I can't promise we won't be overrun. Careful. She must have spiked the generators. I can't see a hand in front of me. How far up this tunnel can she go? 200 yards and it's blocked. Whole ceiling's blown down. Oh, she's trapped herself then. Lots of places to hide though. Here, do you know how to use a pistol? I don't plan on shooting anyone. And neither do I. What you plan and what actually happens ain't ever very similar. Mm, I won't need it. Yeah, I hope you're right. All right, stay behind me then. We broke back to private if anything happens to you. My poor lads. Someone's chucking some rubbish around. <laughs> what can possibly be funny? All this old thing's a turn up for the books, isn't it, eh? Turn up? Me and a Jerry hunting a woman in a top secret Nazi base for, of all things, a piece of spaceship. Oh, a story to tell your children. Oh, oh, believe me. Hey, wait a minute. Shank, is someone all right? You there! Come out of fire! The fire, please! We are unarmed. Good this order. It's a demon. POWs. Hiding from the fight, I bet. Shank could be hiding among them. Oh, she wouldn't risk going near these people, not after what she did to them. Yeah, good point. If I was them, I'd rip her throat out. So she must be behind us, in one of the side tunnels. You're giving us the slip and double back. No, we'd have heard her, surely. Let's try down here. If you ask me, she's long... Oh, blimey! Where did that come from? Might as well flash to the left. Uh, wait, 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 hold your fire. Hey? You might hit the solenoid. Let me speak to her. All right, but not in Jerry. She wants me dead, Lieutenant. I'm not about to hatch a plot with her. All the same, keep it in English. Shank? Shank, I want to talk. She seems chatty. Shank, this is madness. You're trapped. We all are, Capitan. Listen to me. Your name is Troudel, yes? Where are you from? <laughs> ah! If you don't get to stop doing that, I'm going to shoot you myself. I'm from Potsdam. My father's there. All I want to do is go home. Then go. Go home to the ashes. I can't leave the slipstream here. You know that. I know you had a chance to attack the Russians, but you are a coward. Oh, I hope someone kills that gunner soon. I doubt you would have let me, Troutle. I know why the other pilots died. They took her into combat. Just flying her is a strain, Troutle, but making her fight is perhaps more than the human mind can take. You lie! The part of the slipstream that is alien, that part is not aggressive. Do you understand? You have built a fighter aircraft that will not fight. A conchi plane? 
Now I've heard it all. But I fear the Americans or the British will surely try. Or the Russians. They're all out there, all fighting for her, so... Let me take her away. Oi, 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 what gives? Yeah, trust me, Lieutenant. I want them to fight over her. What good will that do? Turn allies into enemies. They will turn the power of the slipstream against themselves. That is my revenge for what they did to Germany. We did it to ourselves. I will not listen to you. Oh. If you're trying to talk her around, mate, I have to say you're doing a lousy job. Can you get behind her? You can keep her talking. I'll keep her annoyed, if that's what you mean. Good enough. Shank, listen to me. You're an engineer. You build things. Well, you owe it to... I ev owe nothing. The world deserves nothing. You hear? They fight for the slipstream, and they will fight forever. Miss Fritchie, how are those repairs coming? Oh, I've made something. I, I don't know if it will work. I can't even get it to fit. If brute force doesn't work, you're oh. not using enough brute force. Let me try. Major, just tell the Russians and the Americans what we have. Tell them we will share the slipstream. Study it together. Impractical and unthinkable. Look, we can't move it. It's too important to destroy, and, and too powerful for just one country. In my experience, power is only too great if you don't have it. Oh, and you're wrong about one thing, Miss Ritchie. Nothing is so important I can't blow it up. Schenk! Germany may not even exist by the end of the month. Countries don't matter anymore. Schenk! The fatherland will always matter! It is you that has become irrelevant! Die like the dog you are! Damn it! Did you get her? Dunno! I can't see a thing! Wait! There's blood here! Was that us? She ran towards the POWs. Listen! Sounds like she bumped into some old friends. She's still got the solenoid. It's gonna be ugly. Yes. Thank you. I owe you my life. We're not out of it yet, Jerry. Let's get that part. We'll settle up later. Check those jerry cans there. If they're petrol, drag them to these phosphorus flares. You can't blow it up, Major. You can't. I don't want a bloody argument. You scientists, you're always having to debate things. But I'm a soldier. I like blowing things up. For once, will you stop? being so pig-headed. It is worth trying to negotiate. We are in a strong position. A strong position? My men are down to harsh language and chucking tins of condensed milk. The Americans and Ruskies are going to roll right over us, and I, for one, don't want to be here when it happens. It'll break my heart, but the best solution is to render this thing down to scrap metal. Have you a heart to break, Major? Oh, <laughs> oh I'm so glad to see you. You cut that fine. Sorry, sir. Schenk took some finding. Where is she? Ah, uh, she won't be joining us. Oh, that's too bad. But we did get this. The solenoid, thank God. Oh, it's covered in blood. It's not mine. Don't look at me. Permission to join my men, sir? Granted. Miss Ritchie, bra, we're leaving. See to it. I want to know what happened to Shank. Let's just say the POWs had their revenge. Oh, well, that's it. Solenoid's in. We're ready to go, aren't we? Go where? England. And then what? Study her, analyse, find out how she works. Dismantle her? Uh, yes, yes, I suppose so. And create a fleet of slipstreams to control the skies. Oh, there's no easy answer. If not us, then it'll be someone. Power creates tyrants. We can share what we learn. Besides, no military technology stays secret for long. She's not a weapon of war. How can you know that? I hear her. A blizzard of information in my head. It's not always words, sometimes images, ideas. She sees into you, knows your intentions, your will. And I see into her. She's not malevolent. Do you know where she's from? No, but it's far away. I can feel that much. Why has she come? What does she want from us? She was designed to teach. Teach us what? To not be afraid of the dark. Oh, it's... 
It's hard for me to take all this in. A, a conscious machine seems impossible. Let alone one from the... Well, from the start. But it's true. And she wants a pilot. Oh, yes. You'll fly her to England. No, you don't understand. She needs a pilot to complete it. You become a part of her and... Now she wants to go home. She wants me to take her back. She came Defense to teach us, you said. What I'm good would it... Make every bullet count! We lost Walker on the way! Turn and stop running the leg! Easy, lad! You still got your rifle! Miss Ritchie, they're knocking on the door! Yes, we're ready! But, Major, the slipstream can only take three. No, I'll come back for the others. We'll be overrun in minutes. It's one flight only. No! No! You're condemning these men to death! I'm staying with them, Capitan. Dumbass, you're going. With respect, sir. Go run up your thumb. Jack, you listen to I me. I knew it could end like this when I signed up. To so see you in hell. Of that, I'm certain. Good luck. Lieutenant, I'm sorry. Just get it out of here. Blue Capitan Ra. Uh, Dungeons, listen. No, those... I hate those long goodbyes. No, 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 no. Those jumps by the water tower, well, they contain cesium, fuel for the slipstream. So? Cesium explodes in water. <laughs> Does it now? Thank you, miss. Give Blighty my regards. Bloody heroes. Every man jack of them. Yeah, you'll have to brace yourself, Major. Bring your knees onto your chest. It's not a great deal of room. Ready? Just get us out of here. Here we go. Oh, good God. Uh, it leads off. Uh, head west, northwest. 305 degrees. Once we cross the English coast, I'll direct you to water by dead reckoning. Jürgen? Uh, do you hear me? I hear you. you. You're going the wrong way. Damn it, Jürgen. What the hell is he doing? I can give Dundas a chance. Safety off. Ross, stop this. I appreciate the spirit, but you will not risk the slip stream under any circumstances. You wish to kill. There are good men down there. I must... Do what I can. How do you tell the good men? I... I... I have a debt. All men have choices. Safety... On. All right, fly past 500 kilometers an hour, seven meters over their heads. A wise choice, Jürgen. Two, Lieutenant! All right, lads, this is it. Keep your heads down, sir! Look! Oh, my eye! Thanks, Jerry. I owe you one. Turner, can you walk? Yes, sir. Then on your feet, soldier! Right. Move it! Into the tunnel! Don't just follow us, sir. I doubt it, Corp. Because when those drums are wet, they... Disobey an order like that again, Raoul, and I'll... You're the what? We're passing over the English coast, so I'm just a POW oh, again. Oh, to be quiet. I need to concentrate. Change course to 298 degrees. Walton is on the west coast, just above Liverpool. Farnborough's closer. Yes, but there's an evaluation team at Walton. Pretty clandestine, actually. Good. Plus, it's a lot more isolated than Farnborough. <laughs> what the <laughs> devil? No, we're, we're too low. <laughs> climb, climb! We got a happy brown job. If we're an unidentified aircraft with swastikas on the side, I think they're well within their rights. Uh, that's Liverpool Bay ahead. Van north, but not too fast. We're coming in blind and uninvited. Don't we have a radio? I'm afraid not. Oh, this is going to be an intriguing reception. Oh. We're all right. We're through it now. God. Oh, see the river? Uh, that must be the Ribble. Wharton is on the north bank. I see it. A lot of aircraft lined up. Well, that's it. It's an air depot. We're going down. Get ready to leave. What do you mean? I told you, Kate. She needs a pilot. What? Yeah, go. You're making a, a big mistake. What's going on? Think about your father. We're down. We'd better get out and mediate, Major. We have company. I don't know what you're cooking up, Raoul, but get out of that seat or I'll shoot you. As you are no longer of any further practical use to me, you know I'll do it. Jürgen, your life is threatened. 
I will not let you come to any harm for me. They mean to take you apart. You are not like the others. I am glad we met. What can I do? Be envoy. You realize you precipitated the most hostile diplomatic situation since the Boston Tea Party. I got it for you, though, didn't I? I sometimes wonder if you're ready to play at this level, Barton. Yes, you got it, but you were supposed to get it quietly. Unfortunately, the Americans and Russians had their own plans, which were rather in conflict with mine. So I gather. The Americans alleged to have lost a company. And the Russians, well, they claim losses too. You were busy. I also lost men getting it. Good men. Yes, and the bodies of those men are rather a giveaway to our involvement. Not including the eyewitnesses among the POWs, photographs and even cine film. In the American vernacular, we've been caught with our hand in their cookie jar. Well, actually, we were in the Russians' cookie jar, as defined by Yalta. I, I mean, if you want to be accurate. If you want to be accurate, this is a startling cock-up. Winston is spitting tax over the whole debacle. Not least because we are being given no choice but to immediately hand it over no. or face punitive financial and diplomatic oh. measures which this country can ill afford. You can't give it to them, for God's sake. There's no question of giving it to the Russians, but the Americans are a very different proposition. So I need more time. Deny we have it. Lie. Pull some strings. There are bigger puppet masters than me, Major. Well, isn't that... Just the gravy. No, I rather think what caps it all is that apparently the bloody thing doesn't work. Sir, you really don't grasp what this thing is, do you? You need to see it for yourself. Good God. Impressive, isn't it? Miss Ritchie? Morning, Major. We've just finished the skin integrity tests. And, oh, Brigadier. Miss Ritchie, this is Brigadier Erskine. He's heard our new toy it doesn't work. Well, I, uh, that is... You can speak frankly. Believe me, I'm used to it. It's true, we've had some problems, but we've learnt a considerable amount just by dismantling some of the reverse-engineered units. Have For you instance... flown it? No. Why not? Um... The slipstream's playing possum. Playing? She's a conscious entity, Brigadier. Yes, I am familiar with your rather colourful report. Miss Ritchie has substantiated it. Unfortunately, we've had three test pilots try to take her off, but not one of them has been able to talk with her. <laughs> and we don't know if she's dead or, or just unwilling. Which is why we need more time. I'm afraid it is out of my hands. And what exactly is in your hands other than your arse when the Americans pass it to you, Brigadier, sir? Major Bart! Well, for God's sake, you can't just give it to them before we've finished here. Brigadier... The slipstream is undoubtedly the greatest technological leap in aircraft design the world has ever seen, but she has a potential way beyond that. Such as? Her other systems, armaments, communications, power generation, information processing, you name it, really. Whoever has her will lead the field in both commerce and military strength for decades to come. That's an exaggeration, surely. Without more time, we'll never know, will we? You've made your point, Barton. However... I'm afraid there's something else. What now? Last night, there was a meeting of the Intelligence Objectives Subcommittee. We discussed your report in some detail, which, correct me if I'm wrong, succinctly states that a burnt-out piece of a spaceship is more powerful than any technology we currently possess. Well, yes. Yes, I'd say that. And it was small, a fighter or maybe a reconnaissance vehicle. Now, I'm told it would take something like a million years to get to the nearest star. So whatever it is, it's very unlikely to have come all that way by itself. You think maybe there's another ship up there? Uh, something like an aircraft carrier? Precisely. The committee is less worried about commerce or even the next war. Rather, when the Slipstream's original builders might come back, they will be, quite literally, invincible. So, a policy of instant eradication was decided for any extraterrestrial, whether biological or a machine. You can't be serious. You, you can't destroy it. Can and will. We hope the Americans will see the soundness of the decision. But that's absurd. Surely that's all the more reason to learn all we can about the Bally thing. Turn its strength against them. This could be the edge we need. It's hoped your studies here have already given us that edge. Now I'm afraid one way or another time has run out. Well, we won't have that edge if we can't pull our theories together. And for that, we need to fly it. How do you propose to do that? Graal. No. We've discussed this already, and that, that's out of the question. He's the German pilot that flew it here. The only man alive that has flown it. He's unstable. 
Unstable? How? He claims the damn thing wants to go home. Really? Where is he? Number four POW hospital outside Nutsford. Get him out. I'll speak to the minister. You have 24 hours. I had hoped I'd never see you again. Charming. And after I bought you chocolate and cigarettes... Just get me out of here. I'm not ill. <laughs> no, you just speak to machines. You think I'm mad? Prudent to check, old boy. You know I'm not. Send me back to a proper POW camp. I'd rather pick potatoes. I've no idea what it's like here. Half the people can't talk and the other half can't stop. The war's over. You'll soon go home. When? When can I go? I was hoping we might have an opportunity to work again together first. <laughs> People who work for you either wind up in an asylum or dead. Dundas isn't dead. Very much alive in an American stockade in Germany. Half his men got out with him, thanks to your fly past. I'm pleased. I can get you out, Rahl. But I need a favour first. What makes you think I would ever be... She won't fly. Slipstream. She took a shine to you, old boy. We've had three pilots try, but she won't... Oh, she won't speak to them. We'd like you to try. Yes. Yes, of course... When? Can we do it today? Is she still at Warden? Yes, she is. Look, I'm pretty sure I understand the controls now, and I know a lot more about the engine, but we have to conduct some test flights for me to bring all my theories together. Some range firing or the cannons would be useful, but not essential, as long as you... Wait, get... wait. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> what was I thinking? It's all about arms, isn't it? No. If she hadn't spoken to your test pilots, then she knows. She knows what you're trying to do. Oh, really? Jürgen, ten years from now, do you want to look back and remember you didn't do this? So you can build new weapons, new ways to kill and maim? I won't help with that, not anymore. Not even for your father? Major, that you, is not... What do you not... say? Huh? You made that promise to me before. When I see him in front of me, maybe I'll help you. We... We don't have time. We have one day at the most. The Americans? Something like that. Help us. And I promise you, your father will be brought here. The war was over. <laughs> It'll be a lot easier to get him out now. She came to teach us, you said. Well, then let her teach us. Fly her again. That's all we ask. <laughs> Here's your flight plan. Just a couple of circuits, mm -hmm. a speed run, and that should be enough. Will you be flying with me? No. And I'm dead jealous. You'll be with me in spirit. Just hope she remembers me. I'm sure she will. You and her, I... Listen, I have to... Um... Hey, hey, why so sad? It's... Are we ready? Oh, it's just my brother. I was told that after this long unreported as a POW, it's unlikely he survived. I'm sorry. All systems ready, eh? Shall we get on? Of course. Look, war's over. There's no one left to fight, and there's no need to take off to Potsdam and get your father. A plane is already on its way. I'm glad to hear that. But I know this thing makes the world very small, so those RAF meteors up above us are authorized to shoot you down should you stray from the airfield. <laughs> the world isn't small, Barton. You are. Oh. You told me once I didn't believe in anything. Well, I'm doing this because I believe. In the human spirit. In whoever sent the slipstream to us in hope for the future. But you? You just have fear and paranoia. Really? Well, it's men like me that keep the wolf from the door, Al. And one day, that wolf might be those precious aliens of yours. No one but you believes they have friendly intentions. So whatever our future, now is the time to fear it. Do your job, Capitan. Oh, I intend to. Our feet is in, Major. Germans. All that good at Demeron has gone to their head. Will we get what we need from this flight? Yes, I think so. Um, I've replaced the box seat with recording equipment that will radio down the data. Good. Just don't tell him that after he lands, his alien sweetheart is for the chop. Uh, the helmet's the same. The seat is a little more reclined to assist in manoeuvres. Yes, I see. Jürgen, I have to tell you. 
your father. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm so sorry. He's dead. How do you know this? Barton. He had someone check. He died in February. Thank you. For being honest. You know... You know, she was always too powerful to stay. Goodbye, Jürgen. Auf Wiedersehen, Kate. Slipstream? Jürgen. I have been waiting for you. Look at that! Those two certainly have a relationship. I think so! Hang on. Hang on, where's he going? I thought he was just doing circuits. Those useless flyboys have just been left standing. Get him on the radio, Miss Ritchie. Get him it on the... It won't do any good! You told him, didn't you? About his father, yes. Do you have any idea what you've done? It's what you wanted, isn't it? The slipstream's gone and no one else can get at it. We went all the way behind enemy lines just so you could let him fly the damn thing. <sighs> oh, well. Godspeed, Capitan. Godspeed. Are you ready to show me more? Of course, Jürgen. But you are in pain. You have a loss. No. No. I just want to go home. Then let us go. And on the way, I will show you the stars. In part five of Slipstream by Simon Bovey, Jürgen was played by Rory Kinnear, Major Barton, Tim McMullen, Kate, Joanna Tinsey, Dundas, Ben Crow, Schenk, Rachel Atkins, Brigadier Erskine, Peter Marinka, and Slipstream by Laura Molyneux. Other parts were played by Simon Treves, Lloyd Thomas, Sam Pamphilon, Alex Lanny Peckham, and Simon Bovey. The director was Mark Beebe.